Meghan Markle's pre-wedding interview caused shudders at the palace, according to a royal expert. Before Meghan and Markle and Prince Harry's wedding, they hosted the Royal Foundation's first forum event with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. It was during the event that Ms. Markle remarked how she was keen to hit the ground running when it came to working with royal charities. According to The Telegraph, in her new book The Palace Papers, royal author Tina Brown said that Meghan felt she could get in there and change it all. But this comment caused shudders at the palace, where things work at a slower pace. Ms. Brown continued, Frankly, she could have done a great deal to change things had she stuck around, but the thing that's most baffling is such impatience. She could have spent a year away and come back with a great game plan. Ms. Brown also pointed out that where Meghan committed less than two years of royal duty, Diana gave it 16 years. A bizarre claim by Meghan that she got married three days before the royal wedding damaged the credibility of the Oprah interview. A formal clarification should help. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have finally admitted to the Daily Beast that they were not married three days before their official ceremony, as they had claimed in their interview with Oprah Winfrey. A spokesperson for the couple conceded Monday that the couple exchanged personal vows a few days before their official-slash-legal wedding on May 19. That backyard exchange of personal vows does not constitute marriage. The belated admission on the record, which follows several anonymous briefings to journalists, marks the end of a tortuous saga that began when Meghan told Oprah she and Harry tied the knot in our backyard three days before the $50 million public wedding on May 19, 2018. Meghan, 39, said in the interview, you know, three days before our wedding, we got married. No one knows that. The vows that we have framed in our room are just the two of us in our backyard with the Archbishop of Canterbury. The claim was much disputed, not least because in the UK a minimum of two witnesses are needed for a legal marriage to take place. Others argued, however, that Meghan was merely making the point that for them as a couple it was more important to make a personal than a public commitment and that the focus on discrepancies and inaccuracies in the interview was a deliberate strategy by Meghan's detractors to undermine her wider credibility and the specific claim that concerns over her baby's likely skin color were expressed to Harry. Today's formal admission to the Daily Beast that no marriage took place in advance of the official ceremony comes after the marriage certificate document was obtained by the British newspaper The Sun. The paper paid £42, about $58, to obtain a copy from Britain's General Register Office. The certificate, which gives the witnesses as Prince Charles and Meghan's mom Doria Ragland, confirmed the couple were indeed married on May 19, 2018, at Windsor Castle. Stephen Borden, former chief clerk at the faculty office, told The Sun, I'm sorry, but Meghan is obviously confused and clearly misinformed. They did not marry three days earlier in front of the Archbishop of Canterbury. The special license I helped draw up enabled them to marry at St. George's Chapel in Windsor and what happened there on May 19, 2018 and was seen by millions around the world was the official wedding as recognized by the Church of England in the law. The certificate lists Harry as single and his occupation as a Prince of the United Kingdom and Meghan as divorced and an actor. Her dad Thomas Markle is described as a lighting director and Charles is described as a Prince of the United Kingdom.